Warning, this video will contain graphic content, so if you don't want to hear the many ways prehistoric beasts can kill you, you should probably watch another one of my videos. If you're still going to watch this, make sure not to eat anything while watching, and watch something happy afterwards. You know, this is going to be kind of a more creepier video. Anyway, so to any of you who don't live in the Tar Heel State, the beautiful, uh, North of Carolina. North Carolina is that one state above South Carolina, and it's honestly really surprising how biodiverse North Carolina was, especially during the late Cretaceous period. Alright, but if I were to send you back in time there, you would not make it out alive for there's a lot of factors on why you would you would not make it out alive if you were to have to do your research at on um, what animals honestly live here? It's it's insane. L listen to this. There was, um, you would have been eaten alive by Dinosuchus if you were to just walk around a decently large body of water. And that's really tricky, considering the fact that North Carolina was covered head to toe in swamp, pretty much. Half of North Carolina was covered up by ocean, and the rest was brackish swamp. So, um, you avoiding this giant, how long is this thing? This 35 foot long giant alligator relative, that's going to be really hard. And you can, and you probably won't even see it until the last minute. And its bite force is 10 tons, which rivals even T-Rexes, which had, whom had the largest bite force of any land carnivore, any carnivore that walked on land. And Dinosuchus um, can rival T Rex in it. Around the same weight, kind of like the same weight class. Alright? They would grab you with that giant mouth of theirs, and then they'd do something called death roll. And a death roll is something that a lot of crocodilians do, where when they grab you, they spin around violently to try to make you drown and to help rip you into different chunks. So that's easier for them to eat you. And depending on how they feel, they'll either eat you right there or they'll take you back to their den underwater to eat you later. And that's really disturbing. I would not want to go that way. Alright, and if you think the water's bad, wait till you get on the land. Okay, so there is a, a lot of hydrosomes here in North Carolina and all across America too. They were the most dominant herbivores of the time and they were very common. There were like three different species. So it wasn't really hard to stumble into one. And just imagine, you're walking around in the prehistoric swamps when you stumble upon a hydrosaur nesting site. And since you're a flipping moron, you decide to walk towards one of the nests to see the giant eggs. Unfortunately for you and your stupid brain, these dinosaurs are very protective mothers and fathers. There's a lot of fossils that support the, th the fact that hadrosaurs protected their young uh, af like a lot, like more than a lot of other dinosaurs. They would help raise them before and after they would hatch. So they, w this 23 to 26 foot long, two to four ton dinosaur starts to charge at you because you were way too close to its eggs. Um, you're already in its sights, and this thing is running at around 30 miles per hour straight at you. Straight, straight at you, like that. It, you're already in its line of vision. It's like a missile. You're not getting out of this one alive. And, um, it's gonna trample you. It's gonna crush you underneath its, its weight, full speed. And that's really not the best way to go. But there's a lot of other ways this animal could kill you. If you were to stand behind a hadrosaur, it could flip and split you in half with its tail. Or it could kick you with one of its back legs and actually manage to impale you with the amount of like force and strength in those legs. But finally, we reach to the carnivore dinosaurs. You know, the dinosaurs that eat meat. And there's this one that was native to North Carolina called uh, Dryptosaurus. And it was 25 feet long and 1.5 metric tons of just pure fun. Oh boy. And they were closely related to T-Rex and probably covered in feathers. Not that if you really cared. Fun facts, I guess. Um, what you're probably here for is to hear about how their teeth 
wear a uh, very, um, what did I put in my script? Gosh darn it. Well, this, all right, so their teeth, narrow and serrated, and they had eight inch long claws, three of them on each hand, and they used these to grab their prey and hold them still as they ate them alive. They didn't just grab their jugular like a lion, just like crush them in the throat and kill them off then. They, their heads and their teeth weren't designed for that. Their body, their head was designed for cutting into, into flesh, not for crushing anything, but for slicing. So this thing would grab you with its claws and then just start munching away. And the most terrifying part about that is that they would have eaten a lot of human-sized animals. So if you were there, this thing would probably hunt you deliberately and kill you. And that's the worst way I think you can go out of all of these because you would have been immediately crushed by the Dinosuchus when it grabbed you. Uh, but the Hadrosaur immediately crushed by its weight. But the Dragosaurus, you can, you're being eaten alive. Your guts are being ripped out. That's really dark. And I'm just going into detail with that. But it's true. It is true. And that's probably the worst way you can go in uh, prehistory. Anyway, that was a very fun and lighthearted video, wasn't it, gang? Alright, this video is going to be about seven minutes long, possibly eight. So, let's just go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, do you want more of these? I can do other states too. I just wanted to do North Carolina because I think the paleontology on the eastern seaboard is very underrated. I don't think a lot of people actually spend time trying to find stuff here. They'd rather go on the western side where all the famous dinosaurs are. So I don't think as many people do their research here. And I think there should be more clout, you know, for us eastern dinosaur guys. And, um... You know, just make sure to put that like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell too so you'll be notified when one of my new videos come out and I don't just get like three views. And uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your evening. Bye-bye.